Another way to view the stepped care model is shown in this graphic, and I'll go through each component of the graphic, but the important point I want to make is that for most people living with pain, there's not one single treatment approach that provides optimal response. Typically, a combination of treatment approaches works best. Some of the approaches listed on this graphic are effective for some people, but we don't know which will be most effective for any given individual. Therefore, I encourage those with pain to have an open mind and try as many as possible to determine the most effective combination of therapies. Self-management approaches that can be effective include establishing treatment goals that are aligned with each person's values. Education about pain can help. For example, this graphic is directed at education about pain. Physical movement is critical uh, component of pain management. Exercise is among the most consistently beneficial approaches to chronic pain. And no single type of exercise has been proven to be superior to another. So it's recommended to select a type of exercise that any given person is motivated to engage in. Behavioral health approaches that can be effective include cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness, meditation, progressive muscle relaxation, and biofeedback. Physical therapy and occupational therapy are often effective and can help those with pain to develop a home exercise program. Complementary and integrative therapies such as chiropractic or osteopathic manipulation, acupuncture, yoga, and massage can be effective. Interdisciplinary programs that combine self-management, behavioral health approaches, and physical or occupational therapy can be a good option when less intensive approaches have not provided sufficient relief. Medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, acetaminophen, and prescription medications may be effective. And choice of medication is based on the specific pain condition and other common conditions that may be present.